will say unite. Teen Titans. Na 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 na. Booyah. Na 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 na. Teen Titans. Shit. What? Where's the pause button? Where's the stop button? Fuck. Hey guys, Lightning Rifle here, and today I'm back with a new video. Today's video is going to be on a very controversial topic, Teen Titans Go. No, I'm not talking about anything important. No, I'm not talking about any news, okay? When I say controversial, I mean it's important to me, goddammit, okay? <laughs> And basically, the fan base and just the people that surround the show in general. Now, Teen Titans Go is a very different show compared to the original Teen Titans, which was um, showed in like the 2000s, around 2005, 2006. That and what is now being showed on Cartoon Network, Teen Titans Go. This is completely different. Teen Titans was more story driven, it had more darker tones. Where Teen Titans Go is very light. It's something you can just watch one day and just forget about the other. It's very quick. It's very light scenes. Very fun to watch. It's but mostly it's made to look like it's for kids. From the art style to the way they lay out the jokes sometimes. It's very um, oriented for kids. Whereas Teen Titans was very oriented for adults and teenagers. Now, I firstly want to point out that I can understand the people that originally watched the Teen Titans show, the people who grew up with it, either when they were kids or teenagers, or maybe even adults now, and they're still adult. well, they're still adults now, and they were adults before. And, teen, yeah, I could completely understand the shift of tone some people don't like when a show changes so dramatically. It's kind of like in Ben 10, Ben 10 Alien Force and Ben 10 Ultimate Alien was uh, mainly story driven while when they went to Ben 10 Omniverse it was more kind of like Teen Titans Go but it lacked a lot of things that Teen Titans Go has that makes Teen Titans Go such a good show and I'm one of those people that hated that not the Teen Titans to Teen Titans Go but to Ben 10 Ultimate Alien to Ben 10 Omniverse uh, but it's very similar to the way that it's been shifted, the atmosphere, the tones, and all of that. So I can completely understand you guys. And I can also understand the people that watched Teen Titans Go, and they just thought, oh, I don't really like this, I don't like its art style, I don't like the jokes, it's not very funny. It's just a show that is not, it's not worth my time. You, you know, if you've at least watched a couple of episodes, you've decided that you don't like the show, I'm fine with that. Go ahead with your opinion. Your opinion is what makes you you, you know? However, what I'm really um, aiming at, who I'm talking to right now, are the people that follow the herd. The sheeps in the crowd. The people that do not have their own opinions. People that don't have their own mindset. They just follow the shepherd. Now, I feel like the majority of the majority, yes, that is a weird sentence, but the majority of the majority of the people who do not like Teen Titans Go have not even watched the show or haven't even cared to learn more about the show and research more. They probably just are listening to people that they either admire or people, their friends, and then they just go on a whole rant talking a shit about Teen Titans Go. Because I know the whole of the internet, the fucking on discord i've seen a ton of people hate the show and, I, and i'm not gonna hide i literally say that i love the show because it's such a good show and i'll go to the reasons why i love the show but i want to address these people have your own mindset do your own thing at least watch the show be your own person don't be someone who just follows the crowd be a trendsetter now, I say trendsetter, but I don't really mean trendsetter because I, it's not a trend. I mean, be someone who has their own opinion and could go against someone else. Someone who has proper thoughts. Someone who I can actually have a conversation with instead of someone who is just randomly blubbing out the things that they read on the internet. It is very annoying to have that because then it's just like your, your opinion doesn't matter. You're, you're just basing it on facts that you don't even know yourself. And that really triggered me, so I just wanted to get that out of the way now. Be your own person. Because if you're your own person, you can do, you can accomplish so many things with your life. But if you're just someone who just follows everyone else, you're just going to be a fucking sheep, as I've said multiple times before. Now, being a sheep, I, I'm not going to say that's bad, because sometimes I'm a sheep with certain topics. 
But it's better to be the shepherd, the people, the person that leads others to do their own thing. Now, anyway, um, that was my kind of little rant for the first part of the video. Now I want to talk about why I love the show Teen Titans Go. Teen Titans Go is such a good show because of the references that they include in the show. They reference so many different things. They reference different cartoon, car, um, DC cartoon shows. They also reference different DC characters that are not present, prominently present in the series in Teen Titans Go in general. And they also reference the old show. Now, first of all, I want to address one of the most popular memes that have come out. Well, maybe it's not a meme, but it's very popular on the internet. It's when Cyborg beats his meat to Raven. And th there's an episode in Teen Titans Go where Raven shows off her legs and <laughs> Cyborg takes a piece of meat and starts just beating it. And I, fi I found that hilarious. Now, a lot of people might not find that hilarious at all. And it has a lot of kid-oriented jokes as well because this is a show that is for kids and adults so some jokes will be mainly focused for adults some might be for kids some jokes it it won't be funny at all because they're aimed for kids but that one that, that one's so hilarious because as a kid i would have not even understood that reference and it's another reference um where beast boy why well, not reference yo it is a reference to the quote i am beating my meat <laughs> and then another type uh, the same scene beast boy turns into a rabbit and i think he says it's mating season <laughs> because of rabbits when it's mating season they fuck like crazy now don't ask me how i know that i just know that okay i don't observe rabbits like having sex okay i don't look up look it all up I, i'm not into that shit okay <laughs> but i mean it's so hilarious seeing all these um all these um things these adult oriented jokes that kids won't get and i just love it another reference is to nightwing now you don't see nightwing because it's in the future there's an episode where they go to the future and they then meet up with Robin when he's older and he's Nightwing and Robin's like fuck this shit I don't want to be this lame ass nigga <laughs> he literally like shows his disgust in his future self he's like no way I don't want to ever be this guy and I find that hilarious as you see Nightwing trying to be all serious and shit and they take the they mock him completely they make all his serious tones and just destroy it dismantle it piece by piece and lastly, the last reference which I'll mention is a reference when Robin is like complete in almost every single episode. You see how Robin is completely in love with Starfire and he has this dream where he um, kisses Starfire. Now, the best part of this, I think this is a homage for the people that um, like Teen Titans Go and have seen the original Teen Titans such as myself. They show an actual scene from Teen Titans where um, instead of uh, having the voice actors or the original i don't know if it's the same voice actors i doubt it's the same voice actors but the voice actors from teen titans go they put on they try and put on this like serious voice robin puts on this serious voice like oh my god starfire i'm gonna kiss you okay i i, I do terrible voices <laughs> and then he he kisses he kisses starfire but it actually shows the footage from the original Teen Titans. And when he wakes up, he's fucking kissing this random fucking animal called Silky. <laughs> and this like disgusting worm that Starfire owns. It's, it's fucking hilarious. Of course, when I state these jokes out, it's not going to be funny. Because like almost no joke is funny when your friend points it out. Yeah, I've, I've established that our relationship has gone farther than just some random nigga talking to you. I am your friend, okay? And also... Teen Titans Go has so much culture in it. It references it references so many things. I keep on talking about references, but I mean culture. Co like, for example, Raven watches My Little Ponies. And fucking My Little Ponies. <laughs> and then whenever the, uh, the rest of the Teen Titans come up, she, like, hides the shit. It, it's, it's so good. And there's another episode that is fucking dedicated to um, Robin... Cyborg and Beast Boy, I believe, trying to get free pizza because there's some pizza companies. If you don't, if they don't deliver in a certain time, then you get the pizza for free. They keep on ordering these pizzas over and over again, and they always have to pay for it. And they just want one fucking free pizza, so they do everything and in that that's possible. They fucking blow up buildings trying to get a free pizza, but the delivery boy always comes. And lastly. 
um, apart from the culture and the references, this story, this um show, is very easy to digest. It's very light on people, so you can go back and watch it. You can watch one episode. They're only like around ten minutes. The way that Cartoon Network distributes it, you can watch one time and then leave the next. You don't have to stay for very long. You can get your laughs. You can. It's so much comedy. It's basically comedy gold. Some episodes, yeah, it's not that funny. No show is perfect. But I think this show is fucking great. And I feel like if you haven't watched the show and you're one of those people that have been hating on it, just at least give it a chance. And the people that don't hate it but I've never seen it before, check it out. I find it really funny. I think it's a great show. I just want people to stop fucking hating it mindlessly. Like, nigga, if you give me good reason, good points, good facts on why you don't like it, nigga, I'll leave you alone. I'm mean, like, yeah, I, I can still be friends with you because you have good fucking opinion. You're your own fucking person. But all these mindless niggas who are just like, oh, I hate this show, but they've never watched it. Fuck you, dude. You need to, like, get your shit straight and actually watch a show before judging it. Because that triggers me to all end. But anyway, I'm just some random nigga on YouTube. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to hear me uh, talk more about just shows and my opinions or what I like about it. And ran this show, I really just talking about what I like and why. And why I don't understand why people don't like the show. But for other shows, I can also talk about why I don't dislike the show. Because Teen Titans Go... I haven't watched it in a while though, to be honest. I just recently watched like two episodes that were great. It actually made me laugh and smile and I really enjoyed it. Anyway guys, I'm not I'm not here to kiss fucking Teen Titans Go ass, the people that write it. I don't give a shit. They don't give me any kind of <laughs> kind of like uh, benefit from this. I'm not sponsored by this video. Fuck this show. No, I'm joking. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video and peace.